it looks like Biden and his administration is resuming their assault on migrants. Uh, they're focusing on Venezuelan migrants at the moment. Uh, can we stop pretending that uh, Biden is any kind of like left-leaning person? He's just a corporate bootlicker. Along parts of the southern border, the Biden administration is now clearing the way for construction of new sections of wall. And its pressure there is growing. Overnight, the administration also saying it will resume deporting Venezuelan migrants. Just weeks after granting temporary protected status for those who traveled to the U.S. before August, the White House now saying they'll remove Venezuelans who arrived illegally after that date. Venez Why can't we just make these people, you know, American citizens, give them a Social Security card and allow them to work and pay taxes? Uh, the more people in the United States the better it is for the United States. Venezuelans currently the most common nationality of migrants trying to cross the border, where illegal crossings are on the rise. The Biden administration now waiving more than two dozen federal laws to allow Homeland Security to install about 20 miles of new physical barrier between Mexico and Stark County. In Whatever happened to Biden being about uh, migrants being able to move into the United States, being able to seek asylum, and being against uh, the border wall because Trump was putting it up. But now that it's Biden and the Biden administration, the border wall is totally okay. Texas's Rio Grande Valley. President Biden arguing his hands are tied because Congress greenlit the project during the Trump era. I tried to get them to reappropriate, to redirect that money. They didn't. They wouldn't. Do you believe the border wall works? No. It's a major reversal for Mr. Well, then how about you send out a memo to the Border Patrol agents to let people in that are seeking asylum or just want to move into the United States? That is something within your power, and you can stop the abuses that go down at the southern border. Mr. Biden, who is a candidate, had this to say. There will not be another foot of wall constructed on my administration. DHS Secretary Ali. Hello, oh, well, nice. Yeah, he made a promise that he either couldn't keep or was not planning on keeping. Alejandro Mayorkas, among top officials meeting with counterparts in Mexico Thursday, said there's no change to the administration's approach. Border security requires a smarter and more comprehensive approach. But it comes as a recent surge of migrants has put a strain on resources from border communities. We are completely overwhelmed. We're done with the finger pointing and we just want solutions. To states, hundreds of migrants. The solution is to make these people American citizens, allow them to work, and then they can just like move anywhere in the United States and wouldn't be such a drain on the border communities. I mean, it's, it's an easy, easy solution there, but that's not something people want to do. They just want to spend massive amounts of money deporting everybody that they don't like miles away, such as New York and Illinois, where Democratic governors have criticized the administration's handling of the migrant influx. Still, advocates like Roberto Lopez with the Texas Civil Rights Project says new walls won't deter people from coming. People are going to find a way to cross. Morgan, what? The uh, biggest reason why people are considered quote-unquote illegal in the United States is um, visa overstays and people get into the United States with visas with the plane so yeah walls don't do anything to stop that from happening do the latest numbers show on just how many migrants are crossing the border and what officials are expecting going forward now Yes, yeah, we've actually seen a bit of a dip since last week when we were approaching record levels. Customs and Border Protection says, though, on Wednesday alone along the entire U.S.-Mexico border, they encountered more than 8,000 people trying to cross illegally. And this past month of September set a high of 2023, more than 200,000 migrants crossing that month alone. That is why some are hopeful that... Okay, so how many of these people are seeking asylum? Because if you're seeking asylum, 
you're not crossing into the United States illegally because legally people are allowed to enter into the United States and request asylum and then the United States has to process their claim to see if it's valid and if it's valid they get asylum protections it's something all states have or all nations have to do if they signed um oh i forgot what bill it is but it's it's a un bill that requires nations to protect asylum seekers that when this barrier is built it could hopefully drive some of those numbers down but time will definitely tell savannah all right